So if we look at ASCII, now any key in the keyboard, when you press it, it will send some binary to the computer because that's all it understands. So for instance, if I pressed A and the binary codes, now I'm just making up the actual codes, but say it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now that's 7 bits. If I press shift, that might be another series of binary. Okay, if I press shift and then press an A to get the capital A, then that, again that'll be another in unique binary code. So we've got seven bits and each combination, each unique combination can be a different character on the keyboard. So if you are to sit with a bit of paper and write eight zeros and every combination in between that gives you sorry seven zeros to seven ones so you'd start from seven zeros to zero 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 one and then zero 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 one zero obviously that would take you a long time so the wee shortcut to do that is you just say two to the power of n and n is the number of bits so if we actually put in the calculator two to the power of seven it tells you the number of unique combinations okay so that gives you 128 so there's actually using seven bits you can get 128 unique binary combinations and each combination can relate to a character on the keyboard which for the European keyboard is more than enough because you've got your alphabet you've got all your punctuation you've got all your numbers you know, up arrow space bar etc so that that's absolutely fine for that okay quite often if you look at other documentation about ASCII, quite often they will just round up to 8, so they will often just have a 0 at the start of it. Okay, so if you look at books they might talk about ASCII being 8. If it was something with 8 bits to find out how many characters that can store, well again it's 2 to the power of n, n is 8, so it's 2 to the power of 8 equals 256. And this is when we look at graphics, this is why something called GIF, each pixel uses 8 bits to save it, and that's why with a GIF image you can only have 256 different colours. So that's ASCII. Now, the other way, because not every language just has the number of letters and alphabet as we do, they have to use a, a different type of coding, okay? And this is called Unicode. Get another wee bit of paper here. So Unicode. Now, with a Unicode keyboard, you press a key, and it doesn't just send seven bits, okay? So ask you send seven bits. With Unicode, it actually sends 16 bits. Okay, so it sends 16 bits. Now we can actually bunch them together because that's a byte and that's a byte. So with Unicode, when you press it, each character has got two bytes of information. With ASCII, we include in this zero that we put on, we can round that to a byte, okay, so with ASCII, each character requires one byte of space to save, okay, so one byte compared to two bytes. Now, the reason you'd want to use Unicode is you need to represent a lot more characters because if we look at, obviously, all together it's 16 bits, to find out, how many characters you can represent. You have 2 to the power of n. You've got 16 bits there, so that's 2 to the power of 16. And that equals, get the calculator. So 2 to the power 
16 equals six five five three six. So that's the number of characters you can use or represent using Unicode. And again, just as I did here, saying you could have all the different combinations, seven zeros all the way to seven ones, how many combinations, which is 128. You could have done that here, so you could have had eight zeros and another eight, all the way down to 16 ones. And if you had all the combinations, you'd be spending quite a while because there's altogether 65,536 different combinations, okay? And each combination can be a different character. So really, just to summarise, okay, Unicode is... represent more characters so that's your advantage however the disadvantage is larger file size so that's really the difference between Unicode and ASCII ASCII you can only represent 128 characters just remember this wee formula because it's seven bits per, per character. Yeah, with Unicode, you can represent 65,536 because we're using 16 bits per character. It's good because you can represent more characters, so that's, that's a plus. But the downside is it's a larger file size.